Hello to the most talented and innovative community I've ever had the pleasure of working with. You all give meaning to what we do, you connect technology to a better human experience, and you continually drive this industry to new heights. For those reasons and so much more, I'm beyond thrilled you're here to both learn and share in one of the most quickly evolving product areas at Relativity. By way of introduction, my name is Emily Williams, and I drive a very talented group of product professionals that are laser focused on making processing an optimal experience for you and your team. I may be biased, but I truly, truly believe that processing plays the most critical role and that it sets you and your business up for success right from the very start. If we look at our vision, it's actually a perfect fit in how we explain what processing actually does. We normalize and organize all potentially relevant information. We package it up in a way that allows you to focus on what truly matters most. This allows you to deliver on that request, answer that question, and move forward based on fact. Processing is your powerful, under the hood engine that converts data into action. It's a big job. It's super important and one that you really have to get right. This is why experience matters. Doing this type of work on real world data with real world constraints is what truly drives this technology to new heights. So let's continue on our job paradigm and look to the relativity processing resume. Our engine was actually first developed in 2006 with the first release hitting our market back in 2008. Relativity then consumed the technology into the on-prem offering in 2012. And in 2016, processing became more accessible than ever with the release of our cloud offering, Relativity One. And today, we're delivering our next generation processing, which will make our front end experience just as powerful as our back end as we lean into our default simple, optionally advanced design principle. But of course, it's not just how long you've been doing the job, but it's how you do it. Here's the part where I get to share what I personally feel is truly amazing, but not surprising given the incredible talent behind processing in that the original design principles of our engine remain a perfect fit for continuous innovation and application to the latest technology. Let's walk through a few examples of how relativity automatically applies best practices behind the scenes without you having to do a single thing. Data comes in all shapes and sizes, which is why metadata or data about the data greatly varies from file type to file type. For example, if you have a picture, you may be interested in looking at the GPS coordinates of where it was taken. Whereas if you have a document, the date the file was last modified, or in other words, last changed, is likely going to be more important to know. The great news is, if it exists, we will find it. We've also created a field catalog, which makes it super easy to understand and make decisions about what metadata you want to see and when you want to see it. If it's more obscure, no worries. Simply flip our catalog to our one of two views that shows you the metadata that's been detected based on the data you've specifically processed. So cool, we've got our metadata. But that's only part of the story. We have to give you the content of all these files, which again, come in so many formats. That said, Relativity has the ability to preserve the electronic text where possible and only leverages OCR or optical character recognition for images and line art. Even if there's a combination on both on a single page, which honestly happens very often, we will apply the best suited technology at the sub page or component level for the best results. And finally, 
All of this activity is happening across infrastructure, which automatically scales to the optimal level to get that job done. And we scale not just at the job or the file level, but again, at the sub page or component level. So let's walk what that looks like by checking out a single page PDF. So here we have our PDF. Instead of just leveraging one machine, we can actually federate that work across multiple machines. So that means that a single page can be processed with optimal resources that extend beyond a one-to-one -one relationship. So what does that all mean to you? Well, specifically, it means super quick access to your data. More specifically, if we look at large jobs in Relativity One, we see processing speeds in the triple digits. And we're averaging over 350,000 documents per hour being streamed to review. But of course, in the end, it's not enough to just be fast and accurate. We want to elevate that human experience. If we look at the traditional workflow models, it's typically depicted in a linear fashion where you step through phases of a process and are stuck by decisions made along the way, which may not end up being ideal further downstream. At Relativity, we're committed to giving you an all-in-one experience where workflow actually works for you anytime, in any way, really anywhere. And we're seeing success in how you all are applying the product. Both the people using relativity processing and the amount of data you've all processed has already doubled since last year. But again, it really is about the people. My hope is that you can leverage this virtual opportunity to collaborate with your peers, those like Laraz with control risks, who have firsthand experience with the tool. I also want to take this opportunity to share the very near future of processing. So you leave today with a clear understanding of what you can expect from us both this year and next. If you're using the latest version of Relativity, you're also using the new and improved user experience, which you've likely come to know as Arrow. But in addition to that, we've also been super busy on new features and new workflows that give you the right data at the right time faster than ever. And that starts with our new inclusion exclusion list, where you can automatically omit those unnecessary data types, saving time and resources for getting to that right information as quick as possible. And we're gonna do it faster than ever. In fact, twice as fast with our auto scale improvements in Relativity One. Not only that, but we've also leveled up when it comes to our text extraction approach for Microsoft Office files. Our numbers are impressive in that you're actually going to be able to get that extracted text where you can search on this information three and a half times faster than you did before. What may be even more exciting to hear is that we're also reducing file exceptions. So we're not only accurate and fast, but we're getting you more data than ever before based on this new and improved approach. We're also tackling workflow, starting with giving you a seamless experience when it comes to document deletion and deduplication. If for any reason you do need to remove documents from review, Processing is going to take care of all the heavy lifting when it comes to the implications of what that means to deduplication. In other words, if you remove a file from Relativity, we're going to systematically true up the next in line dedu custodian, create a new job for you behind the scenes, and automatically push that information over to review with an easy to understand report that allows you to communicate those changes to your case team. But it's more than just document deletion that we're tackling. We're going to readdress the entire processing workflow, whereby you can access any option, any setting, any filter, any dedupe reference at any time, regardless of where you are 
in your relativity. I'm also super excited to share updates we're making to your air handling process. So when it comes to processing files, errors do happen. But we want to make sure that those errors are systematically resolved and that we're able to apply human logic without you having to lift a single finger. Here's how we're going to do it. We've completed a thorough root cause analysis of all the common processing errors. We applied a user-friendly description and we also categorize them in a way that makes it very clear and actionable as to what you need to do should you want to resolve that exception. We're also applying the Relativity Automated Framework to your air handling so you can apply all of your standard operating procedures, or in other words, preferred methods for troubleshooting errors based on those categories, again, without having to do a single thing in the system. We're actually going to start today's demonstration from the review side. We see processing being a feature of review, just like any other, where if you have to add some data, it's as easy as a simple click, a drag and a drop, and we're going to automatically adhere to best practices and settings based on the data you've selected. If we can't, we'll make it super easy for you to make a decision so you can move on with your workflow. Now, let's say you do want to get into more of that advanced functionality that's typical of a processing tool. No worries, single click away. Here we're looking at our new default landing page where you can see the state and status of all of your processing data. Again, from here, you can easily leverage several uploading options that make relativity processing a product in which can work based on the format of your source data. I can auto upload, auto name, or interact with the data directly, selecting applicable custodians if we're not automatically able to match. I can kick off Discover, or I can push those documents directly into Relativity right from this page. I can also advance a single data source through to the next process and intuitively understand the next step to take to get to that data faster. Let's also look at an example of some best practices that were applied using a relativity automated template. Here I can see I'm automatically going to retry those system errors and I'm automatically going to generate reports or save search for my team to go in and take a look at when it comes to those password protected files or files that are corrupt. I can then quickly dive into those filters. So here I'm looking at my corrupt documents. And I can again tap into that drag and drop functionality, replacing those files with the updated version, making sure that we get to that data without you having to manually upload and replace each individual item. So you can quickly get at that scope for that particular project right away. Here, we're going to be applying all those common processing filters with also the ability to run keywords and deduplication is just another way to filter and understand your data. Again, because we're leveraging the same workflows as Relativity, your case team can come right in here, modify that scope directly, and understand what the results will yield before anything hits Relativity Review. We can then push that data over to the review side of the house, and if we need to, we can easily make updates by removing documents from Relativity and again, automatically truing up what should then be present based on what was previously published, updating those custodians and that dedupe metadata for you. To really, really tell the iterative story, I also want to jump back to the files page and remind you, you can come here at any point, you can modify your filters, you can republish or publish new data at any time. That concludes our demonstration of our future processing world, but I think it's also important to leave you with how we plan to do this when it comes to the technology. In Relativity One, we have access to really awesome technology 
and we fully plan to use it specifically for making your processing experience truly a pleasurable one. We've talked about a lot today, but I would love to leave you with three things. One, we are always going to be delivering on speed and accuracy. Two, you will have a default simple, optionally advanced experience. And three, we are committed to innovation and we will continue to invest given the importance of processing to what we do every day. To take a closer look at what we talked about today, please check out our processing product virtual booth. And also, please take a moment to take our survey. Not only do we love to hear what you think about the content presented, but we'd also love to partner with you on the future improvements of processing should you be interested in being more hands-on with any of the features that you saw today. Thank you all for your time and attention. Happy Fest.